Welcome to Discovering Emacs. This is episode one and today we're going to discuss locate and how we can integrate it into Emacs and use it to actually find files recursively inside of a project. So what is locate? Locate is a program that searches for specific patterns inside of a database that contains file paths. The command for updating the database is called update db. Once the database has been generated, you can use locate to find all matching file paths inside of the database. It does this almost instantly, making it a great choice to find files inside of unknown locations. All you need to do is run locate and your pattern to find matches. You can also make use of shell globbing and quoting characters to help narrow the results. On Linux, you should be all set, but if you're on Mac, please consider installing Find Utils via Brew instead of trying to use the default locate and update db commands. The Brew version of these commands will be prefixed with a G, so you'll need to run glocate and gupdate db. Using locate in combination with Emacs. Emacs already has a command named locate. When running this command, you can pass it a string and locate will then look through the database for all the matching paths and lists all the results in an Emacs buffer. The buffer also features some additional functionality, but we won't be covering that today. This can obviously save you time when you're looking for a file but can't remember where it's located. But for most of my personal use cases, I'm more interested in finding files recursively inside of a specific project's scope. And that's what we'll be discussing next. Using Locate for individual projects. There are many ways you can go about configuring Locate in and outside of Emacs. The following is what I came up with, but feel free to experiment and come up with better solutions. First, we don't really want to generate a database for our entire file system. So we can configure Locate to generate a database just for the folder containing our projects. We will write an Emacs Lisp function that calls updateDB with two arguments. Local paths that specifies the folder that contains all of our projects and output that specifies the location of our database file. In addition, we also need to create an environment variable that specifies the same database path, named local path. We can do this inside of our .emacs configuration file. If you're on macOS, you'll also need to set two additional Emacs option variables for locate command and locate update command, as we need to take into account the G prefix. Next, we will define two helper functions inside of our .emacs configuration. The first function will help us update our locate database when needed. The second will help us automatically filter the results based on the project's root folder. This allows us to use locate for only project-specific files. A good set of key bindings for these functions will be control -C -F to recursively find files inside of the current project and control -C capital F to update the locate database. Please note, you can find the code examples in the podcast repository linked inside of the show notes of this episode. In conclusion, Although there are many great plugins that makes finding files recursively easy, Locate can be a valid solution for those whose main goal is to keep their Emacs configuration as minimal as possible. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next episode of Discovering Emacs.